Hello, guys and gals. I'm your host, Crocodile Death Speed. Uh, I'm having at the moment quite a bit of technical difficulties. I'm not just saying that. I literally have. I recently upgraded finally to Windows 10, and things are not rolling as smooth as I expected them. But it's not so bad, and my new video about the origin of internet memes should be ready in a few days, less than a week. But in the meantime, so you don't have to wait too much, I am putting together this quick little video about uh, life hacks in your browser. Um, I'm not giving you these phony life hacks that never work, that people just pull out of their asses. I'm talking about stuff that I use every day and make my life easier and help me waste less time. So without further ado, roll credits and, and hack this life. And... Hack this life, bitch. Go! Crocodile death speed. Crocodile death speed. Go! Hack number one. Clicking links with your mouse wheel opens them in a new tab. Okay, I thought that everyone was aware of this one, but recently I was on Reddit and I told people about that and I got like a thousand upvotes. People were thanking me because apparently a lot of people don't know about that. But say you're on, well, Reddit for that matter, where it's uh, really practical to use that and you're on your front page and there is a lot of uh, links that potentially interest you. You want to open like uh, 12 of them at once and also open the comments to, to read them at the same time. With this hack, it's done in like five seconds. You don't even have to uh, use the, the, the contextual menu with the right click because yes, if you weren't aware of that you can click on your mouse wheel and it's very useful in video games for example where it gives you a third mouse button this is a very useful hack and I, I probably use it at least a hundred times a day uh, if you're on laptop and you don't have a scroll wheel it's control and click and if you're on a, a tablet or smartphone just long press the link and a menu will appear with uh, open a new tab very very useful and time-saving Hack number two, Control w closes active tab. Okay, so let's say that you're in your office watching a video on YouTube. You have your coffee in your right hand and you hear your boss coming down the hallway. You do not have the time to put down the coffee on your table. You have to close the video right now. Control w and it's gone! And it's also useful if you have a lot of tabs open and if you want to close them all pretty quickly. Just hold the control key and hit W a bunch of times and bam 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 bam, these tabs are all gone. Hack number three. Control shift T reopens previously closed tab. No, let's say that you just closed a tab but it's been opened for like two days. You don't really know when you opened it and you have uh, opened a shitload of other tabs since, you can just go in your history to fetch it, because it will be just a hassle. Well, just hit Ctrl Shift T, and it will reopen the last closed tab. If you close it by accident, just hit Ctrl Shift T, and your tab is back. But wait, there's even better. Imagine that you made that mistake six closed tabs ago. Just hit Ctrl Shift T six times, and the six last closed tabs will pop up back again. Isn't life beautiful? Number four, use Google as converter, calculator, etc. Now, we all make fun of Google Translate once in a while, but if Google isn't so good at languages, there is one thing it is indeed great at, and it's math. Now, let's start with a, a simple multiplication, 654 by 287. Uh, you have the result right away, but if you, you are into that, you can do more complex operations. It can also convert uh, anything, Celsius to Fahrenheit, or here, meters to feet, uh, five meters in foot, in it's uh, 16 and a half feet. Uh, it can even do money conversion. Uh, and it will be at the last convert rate. It's uh, really accurate. You see uh, $800 in Euro, uh, as uh, when I record, it's 722 Euros. 
Now I am ending this video by talking to you about my four favorite Google Chrome extensions. Sorry Firefox users, but I have used Google Chrome for almost 10 years and I'm not really familiar with your browser of choice. The first one is called Search by Image, and what it does is reverse image search. Say you have an image on the web page uh, and you like this image, but you don't know where it comes from. There's no name. You would want to know the source. Well, you don't have to use any complicated tools. With this extension, you just have to right click on the image and you can do a search to find uh, similar images and hopefully the source. The second one is called Google Keep. It's like a post-it app. You just uh, open it and you can note anything that you like, whether it's uh, an ID that you had or someone's number or a grocery list, anything. It's, it's great for uh, all that. And what is particularly great about it is that it's linked to your Google account. So it's automatically synchronized between all your devices, computer, laptop, smartphone, tablet, and soon fridge and microwave oven. I'm sure of it. This is really practical, and if you tend to forget things like I do, you're gonna use it a lot. The third one is called Imager Uploader. Now, I assume that you're familiar with Imager because it's considered by most people, including myself, to be the best image host in the whole internet. Now, what it does is two things. First, imagine that you found an image that you like on a web page and you want to share it, but without downloading it. Well, you just right click and you can rehost via the contextual menu to a major automatically. You just have to click on rehost and bam, it's rehosted. That's pretty great, but there is better. Imagine that you want uh, to screenshot a part of a web page, not the whole page, just uh, a tiny bit or any, any bit of it. Well, you can do it with the extension. You just have to right click on the page, uh, select capture area, and then define a square with your mouse. And this part of the screen will be automatically captured and uploaded right to Imager. This is pretty awesome. And last but not least, the fourth one is just called Eric Andre. And if you have seen the Eric Andre show and particularly its opening credits, you know what it does. And if you haven't seen the show, you should see it just right now. Just go, go, just, just go watch it. It's important. Thank you for watching. That is all for today. Catch up with you in a few days for more Mimology. Stay tuned.